Have you ever done something that was challenging, that was hard? Maybe a workout, maybe a challenge of some sort where you had to question yourself, question your mind, question you as a person. And then once you get through it, you have a very high self-worth of yourself because you've been through something hard. You've been through something challenging that made you question yourself. And this is where I feel mostly our self-love in a sense is earned and our self-esteem of ourself is earned overall because a lot of us have low self-esteem but we're not giving us reasons for us to have higher self-esteem if that makes sense so let's say for example the shape you're in this is a physical example i know but let's say for example the shape you're in if you're not in the shape you want to be in you're going to view yourself slightly worse aren't you you're going to view yourself not as good slightly even in your own head if you're a bit fat if you got a bit fat over the past however months and you used to be in shape, you're gonna view yourself a little bit worse, isn't you? And this is not to be a dick, because you can change that over time, but you're gonna view yourself worse. And this is where I mean self-love and self-respect is overall earned in a sense, because it's almost that challenging stuff that takes time, that takes effort, that has that high reward over time. It's not these little things that you do, if that makes sense. It's not the easy things that give you self-worth. It gives you short-term self-worth short-term happiness but let's say for example hard things like working out and pushing yourself and pushing your body and pushing you is something that allows you to actually feel real self-worth and not this short-term thing that doesn't truly really help it allows you to feel self-worth in the future tense instead of the short-term tense let's say for example how much money you are as well or what you're working towards a lot of these things are hard to make money to get more money to save money and you're going to award yourself on higher self-worth sometimes when you want more money ain't you and some of you may say, no, money don't matter, money don't matter. But at the end of the day, you will view yourself differently in regards to how much more money you have. You'll probably be more happy because you can do more stuff. You can buy more stuff. You can have more experiences. And that's just the overall sense with this stuff. And I just want you lot to get the message in this video that self-worth is overall earned. It isn't just given to you. You're not going to feel like your best self if you're not doing anything for yourself. That's just a reality. If you're not helping yourself, if you're not working towards stuff, if you're not striving towards certain goals, if you're not doing things that would truly make you fulfilled or doing things that make the future version of you fulfilled, you're going to feel like shit. You're going to feel like you've got no confidence, no self-worth, no belief in yourself. And that's just the reality of this stuff. But if you start striving towards stuff that's hard, but then you get results, whether that's you looking a bit better, your physique, you work out more and your body looks a bit better, you look a bit trimmer, you look a bit leaner, you're watching your calories, you look leaner, you're in better shape, whether that's you working on something, you make a bit more money, you're working on YouTube channel, you get more subs, you get more people watching, more engagement. These things will make you have a higher self-worth and view yourself in a better light instead of just viewing yourself as terrible. But a lot of times it comes from these little steps that build that. It don't just come out of nothing. So if you can take any value from this video, just understand that your self-worth is earned. Your self-love is earned. You can't fool yourself. You can't just pretend to yourself, oh, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. When in reality, you're not happy with yourself. Sometimes you've got to look at yourself and change them things that you're not happy about. Of course, there's some things that you can change, but let's say, for example, the things you can change. You've got to look at yourself and say, oh, shit, I kind of have to change that. I might have to change that. I do have to change that. So I actually feel good in myself and more confident and more grateful for myself. And then you actually feel like you've got self-love. Hope you like all of value. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.